Again, I really appreciate your help finding our crew's family out there. Hello. All right, then. Well, one thing's for sure, this planet is gorgeous. I know I should be grateful, but Brackenridge shouldn't have trusted you to know what's best for us. Howdy. I heard one of the hotel guests say that recently. Howdy. This may not be exactly as we all expected, but it could have been a lot worse. Things are going okay since you helped us settle here. <laughs> this is a welcome surprise. Didn't think you'd ever come back to see us. Well, you got us off that ship at least. Hey there! <laughs> All oh, my life, I've come onto the ship. The fresh air and all now this what? free space. Oh, this planet is everything we dreamed of. Well, minus the whole mix-up with the holiday tour company. They're adjusting to their new lives. I know it wasn't the perfect solution, but I'm confident it was the right solution. On a positive note, it's good to know that we aren't alone if something were to go wrong. And while our current accommodations may not be great, we didn't have to build everything from scratch and live like ancient humans, so that's nice. A lot remains to be seen. For now, my people still treat me as the captain, and I help them as needed. But that will only last for so long, as I no longer have authority over them. As for the ship itself, it will likely be hauled away at some point if it hasn't already. I heard rumblings it may be turned into a museum of some sort. Until next time. Hi there. Fancy seeing you around. Uh, I wish I didn't have to work my way out of debt here, but at least I'm off that damn ship. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Hi there. Fancy things are going okay since you helped us settle here. Well, one thing's for sure. This planet is gorgeous. This is a welcome surprise. Didn't think you'd ever come back to see us. Uh, I wish I didn't have to work my way out of debt here, but at least I'm off that damn ship. To think, generations of Brackenridges and I had the honor of fulfilling our original mission. Oh, I've heard about you. The visitor who helped us get into the situation we're now in. Stuck on this planet with unbearable debt. Sorry, I don't mean to be ungrateful or rude. I'm just frustrated. Oh, you think? Working for some sort of leisure resort or whatever this is? So maybe one day we can be free to do as we please? I've got half a mind to stow away on the next luxury liner out of here, because this is not the life I was promised. I doubt it, but what the hell? It's worth a shot. Maybe you're an expert negotiator. Maybe he'll listen to an outside opinion. I know he won't listen to us at least, but look, if you do it, not only will I be surprised, I'll be very grateful. Thanks for even offering. Have no worries. We will be ruthless and refuse to take no for an answer. 
I'm not getting my hopes up yet. You'd think it'd be pretty great. But in reality, it's only marginally better than living on a colony ship. Sure, we have fresh air and access to a lot of the amenities here, but we're basically indentured servants. We can't leave. Everything here costs money, so anytime we want to do something to make us forget this hell for a minute, we go deeper into debt. It sucks. Ugh, nothing yet. There's been some talk of me doing something in the kitchens, though, and I am not looking forward to it. No offense. But you're talking about convincing some businessman to part with his money. If he's anything like they are in the movies, I have serious doubts. Exactly as we all expected, but it could have been a lot worse. I know I should be grateful, but Brackenridge shouldn't have trusted you to know what's best for us. <laughs> hey, if you ever want some piloting tips, I'm your chica. You're the one who helped us out of that mess with the Paradiso group. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, jeez. Sorry, of course you don't know my name. We never met. I'm Yue. Wow, I never thought this would happen. Sure. Well, unless there's anything else you want to talk about. <laughs> it's incredible. I'm pretty excited to meet new people and ask them all sorts of questions. I wonder about all we've missed this whole time while humanity has advanced around us. <laughs> it's incredible. I'm pretty excited to meet new people and ask them all sorts of questions. I wonder about all we've missed this whole time while humanity has advanced around us. Get you around! Well, you got us off that ship, at least. Have you ever tried swimming? You should. You do it in water. Nice day, isn't it? I know they're really gonna appreciate what we're doing. I'll never get used to the fresh air and all this free space. Tell you how many times I've had to make do with inelegant solutions to complex technical problems.
<laughs> I was hoping to talk to our savior, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have so many questions for you, but there is time for that later. I'm Chief Engineer Amin Kazemi, or at least I was when we were still aboard the Constant. Yes, of course! Anything for my new friend. Many years ago, when I was a junior engineer, the reactor's computer burned out. The computer that controls the reactor's various regulators. I'll spare you the details, but when that happens, the ship and everyone on it is in danger of turning into a mess of hot slag. I had to jury-rig parts from old media devices to prevent a meltdown. And that's how I became the boss around here. Nothing yet. I was thinking about trying to work as an engineer aboard one of the luxury liners that comes and goes. Our pilot, Yue, did that. But then again, my old crewmates would not have that same opportunity and I couldn't bear to leave them behind. Who knows? Maybe there's another similar job for me here. Yes! So many! Does everyone have their own spaceships like you? Do people only live on naturally habitable planets, or did they learn to terraform? Are we in contact with alien species? I have so many more, but I don't want to take up all your time. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! Incredible! Amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would take to terraform an entire planet seems improbable. I can assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose from out there. Mm. Disappointing, but not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. I suggested that the most likely explanation for you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. See you! My mom and dad were scared when you came on board, but I don't know why. You seem okay. 